What's up, y'all? Welcome back. We're going to play some standard here, and we're going to try to build some clerics. White and black. Oh, this guy's a cleric? Oh, yeah, definitely playing that guy. <laughs> this is a cleric? Wow, this card's real good, too. For now, I'm not going to be raiding just because our, um, what do you call it? Wait, uh, I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Like our agreement with stream raiders has ended, so, um, we're going to, I'm going to see, I'm going to see if it's like something that people want or like if that's a thing we're just going to keep doing hmm well, I like Null Priest a lot that's a cleric too jeez Vito seems good um that guy also seems real good in the cleric deck. This guy is an obvious four of. Choose a knowledge of guard. You want to turn that card off? Oh, okay, that's a vampire. Um, kind of meh. Not hundred percent. What does this guy do? Three, three, four. Whenever it or another cleric dies, return a cleric to the lesser cleric. Man, cost regard to the battlefield. That's an easy two of. Uh, we can't really play Helad because he's not a cleric. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He's probably great in this deck. When it enters from the battlefield, to enter from your graveyard. So, this guy can bring it back. <coughs> Null Priest can bring it back. Hmm. Yeah, it's a sky scanner situation where like you can't play a non non cleric in a cleric deck, obviously. So you can tell because like he doesn't even show up when you're looking for cards. So it just only makes sense to not have to Does no, 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 maybe. Yeah, call the Death Dweller. We're gonna cost three. Bring three of those dudes. I almost don't like Temple here because, like, it's. It doesn't come into play untapped, and, like, it, we have eight one drops, but, like, I'm pretty sure it's a necessary evil. God, even Field of Passage is bad because of that. Win your game. I'm working on it, buddy. My dude. What up, Chris? Christephus? Okay. I mean, this card just seems good to play in a two-color deck. Yeah, we'll play two Castle Lockthwains because I think they're probably better in this than they are in other things. Play two Hagra Maulings. Any number of balance uh, each have a different card of mana cost. So, like, we want this on three. So, for six mana, we can return three drop, two drop, one drop. This card seems great in our deck. Hmm. 
Yep, that's the one. I don't think we want triomes. Because, I mean, at that point, it's almost just better to put, like, scoured barons. I mean, you know, I just want to play one castle Ardenvale for the heck of it, but I'm not sure. So does 8, 9, 10... 24, 25, 6, 27, 29, 30. And right now we have mm, higher distribution of black than white. So this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 5, 6, 7, 11, 7. Yeah, Ardenvale's pretty meh. Um, so as far as lands go, we have 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 19, 21, 22, 20, 25 lands, which seems more than enough for uh, what uh, a curve that's mostly topping out at 5, which means we get 4 extra slots. What does Dire Tactics do? How many humans do we have? 4... 8, 12, only 12 humans. I expected more, actually. Hmm. So we have, right now, as far as removal, we have two Heartless Axe, two Hagra Maulers. Mauling, not Hagra Maulers. And that's it, really. That actually seems kind of sweet right now. I mean, Elspeth Conqueror's Death could be fine. We can put it on the sideboard. I don't love that it costs five mana, though. Let's bring in Elspeth's Nightmare. Maybe Elspeth's Nightmare is good enough in the main deck. Hmm. Why didn't it go there? That's weird. One thing I'm, and I guess we have four of these. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, plus five, plus two and two. So this is four, eight, 13, 14, 17, 17 lands that come into play untapped. That's, that's actually not bad. See what gain life offers us. Oh, Heliod himself, eh? It might just be two Heliods. <clears throat> yeah, Elspeth actually could be decent. I do kind of like one Elspeth. And maybe one Heliod, because they're legendary, but these guys are also legendary. I mean, this is like more of a six drop anyway. This is not a... Hmm... Um, 
Um. Oh, what up, Austin? I guess I should be happy I have anything. Yeah, you should be grateful that you have something. Okay, so I need one cut for now. Might just be one of Miria's call. Man, I don't like it. These are these are definites. This card also seems very good. Might just be one call. Let's go with one call for now. Actually, it might just be. Maybe I just cut one Heliod. I don't think I like two Heliods. Alright, let's try it like this for now. And then, like, if Elspeth actually performs really well, we can add more. So this is six, seven, eight, five, six, seven of individual sources. Actually, kind of like one less castle locked, Dwayne, just because I want to be able to play things on, on curve. Sideboard considerations. Uh, what are we adding? What are we? What are we concerned with? I just don't care about I just don't care about enchantments. Like the only enchantments are like what? Like I mean, Doom foretold. Yeah, remorse and duress are actually. Put two murderous riders in here just in case. Necromench is fine. I don't love it, but I'll just put it in here for now anyway. What is the what was in the um what do we put in here? Let's see. The rest are more nightmare. Extinction event could be okay. <sighs> Stupid Jawa, what up, my dude? Welcome back. Okay, so. Yeah, I mean, if we're playing, like, I, I, so here's the thing, we're playing white, um, so, like, the last thing I'm gonna play is feed the swarm for enchantments, right, I'd rather just play, like, disenchant, or, like, Thank you. you know, light of hope, something like that. Oh my god, stupid Jawa, nice. It does kill creatures. I mean, it's very it's versatile. I'm just not concerned with enchantments that much. You know what I mean? Like, okay, so we need like one more sideboard slot, one more one more card. I feel like that'll be something away, right? That's true. You don't have to worry about the life. Actually, you know what? For you, for you, Mister Manly, we're gonna do it. We're gonna put two in here. Take out a Necromentia.
I think Heartless Act is just better than Glass Casket, right? Like, uh, kind of like one Bane Slayer, but we're not looking for the. Oh, I guess that's fine. Alright. Let's battle. I'm eating Lucky Charms. Oh, you'll probably regret listening to me. Music Manly never. I would never do that. Who are we putting back? Probably Null Priest. <laughs> Set up that stream. We're not stream rating tonight. My, our our arrangement with stream has ended uh, in in November, so I'm gonna hold off for on it for a little bit to see what happens. Oh. Look at that. See, that's unfortunate. Maybe I just don't even give a shit about temples in this deck. That's also unfortunate. I'll trade. Oh, they want to trade. You got it. I feel like we're doing pretty decent, unless they go Shatter to the Sky, but then at least we get to draw a card, right guys? And then Call the Death Dweller bringing three of these back? Nope, just two.
least seven life more than my starting life total. interesting You know what? Just this guy. Put a death touch counter on either of them. He's got death touch and menace. God dang. This deck seems sweet. Why are people playing this thing? Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Oh, one passive aggressive stream raiders, Buck. Oh boy. Oh my god, Meteor Magic Man. Have a good night, buddy. Get some sleep. Got it. Do they have enough to actually... They don't. I mean, if you want to trade Lovestruck Beast in the 1-1, one -one, that's totally fine. Oh, they do. Very unfortunate that we only have 26 and not 27. Okay. A concession. Um. Start regenerating with power 2 or less. Elspeth Conquer's death uh, seems actually pretty decent here. I 
I don't care about Heliod, I'm gonna be honest. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, it seems fine. Let's do that. Oh, Nerd on and Mossy Beard. Thank you guys for the raids. Really appreciate it. Uh, I think we're just going to keep this. Did you have Halloween? No, because we had COVID instead. Guys, cases are on the rise in the U.S. Like, the literal, we're having, like, record-breaking uh, uh, COVID cases. And, like, we're like, no, no, please don't come to the house right now. Like, I mean, I don't know. Like, I appreciate, like, having kids and, like, wanting to, like, have a Halloween for them. But I also, like, don't really want to expose myself or others, you know? And it sucks. Like I wholly, I, I totally get that it sucks. Like to to not have Halloween or like to not be able to dress up and stuff. It sucks. But like, you know, for example, like Katie's like high risk. Like Katie has, um, like some underlying kidney issues that like could really complicate things if she got COVID. And it's just like there's risks like that where I'm just like, no, <laughs> in no in no world is that worth taking it. You know, so. At least you have candy. That's true. That's true. this was a black source but it's not um
Hold on one second. Okay. Um. How old are you? Uh, doesn't really matter. Um. Oh no, Austin! I didn't get that impression at all. Yeah, definitely don't think I was like, "How dare you?" No, don't, no, no, seriously, not a, not a big deal at all, man. Um. No attacks. Age is just a number? No, it's just not relevant to my stream. Like, it's just a personal question that, like, it has no relevance to the magic content I'm producing. I mean, I don't, I'm not hiding it or anything, but it's just like, I, it's a weird question when people ask me that. I'm just like, eh, meh, doesn't really matter. Time fast making very conscientious about my slow typing. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Uh, I wish I had another white source is usually what they say. Okay. Have you ever checked your words per minute? No. I write fast enough to get the things I need to get done done. It's not a contest. Real question is how old is Mike? Mike is ageless. Okay, now we're talking a second black source. But if it was a contest, you'd win. Listen. Maybe. Uh, yeah, no attacks here. Obviously not great. Uh, so if we activate Veto, we're getting one. Gives lifelink. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 19 damage? 9 damage? I don't know why I said 19. Do you guys want to stream Mavis Beacon? Okay, well. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the old Mavis Beacon stream. A classic. I feel like I'm just kind of stuck here. I really wish I had 27 life. 7, 89 more life. That's a lot. I didn't tap anything. See, that's weird. Oh, that's pretty fascinating. Uh, it's got to be Archfiend and Cleric, right? We got a Veto in hand. We're at 18.
All right, I mean, hopefully they don't have another one, I guess. Sure. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> That's unfortunate. And they're at six, do I just play this guy? Like, the odds are high that they're just gonna be able to exile whatever we get back, and we have to hit a land? Sure. Plus with Vito next turn, like... Sure. So we can just alpha here and then take, and then when they go to one. Blah. Oh, they're not dead because they can gain one from scavenging ooze. Like they can make this a three, three, yeah. They do have to block everything, though. Oh, wait, they, they're, they're actually dead to this guy, right? Yeah, they might be dead. Pretty sure they're dead. Uh, sure. Well, that went well. I don't think I care about Heliod. I think there's enough, like, stuff going on. I think I just want another Heartless Act, to be quite honest. Man, Call of the Death Roller to get back Arc Arcfiend's Vessel is pretty sweet. Are there any cool lifelink clerics that I'm missing? Or lifelink cards in general? Someone's gonna say Baneslayer Angel. I kinda like Nighthawk Scavenger just as a guy. Actually, it might be better than Heliod. Oh, I kind of like a Luris, actually. Luris seems great here. No, don't set it as a companion. You're looking at literal permanence. Come on. Just put it in the deck. I also kind of like Kuneros. Scavenger? Oh, the scavenger. I was like, scav do you mean scavenging is? Oh yeah, being able to cast uh, Null Priest from the Graveyard with Kicker is pretty sweet. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's fine. I'm only excited to try drafting Commander Legends if it is on a digital platform. I have no interest in uh, being in a room with seven other Magic players and drafting cards and everyone touching every single other card. That does not sound ideal. I'm actually going to put this on the bottom because we have three lands. Thank you. So I actually have no idea where uh, it will be on MTGO. Interesting. Then I guess we'll be boning up. Oh, fan fantastic. Oh, Snarky Syrah with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Pay. Three. Speaker. Nully boy. Yeah, the uncommon legendaries are kind of meh. Oh, excuse me. Boy, these fucking... These plays are great. Answers for everything here. cards in hand and one bone shredder. Jesus, this is incredible. It just answers for everything. I mean, I'd definitely rather have strep than COVID, for sure. Doesn't even have lifelink. We're definitely taking one Vito out. I think Vito's more like a uh, an end an end gamer.
Yep, okay. <laughs> yeah, three vetoes is too many. I might take up one of each of both of these legendaries. <laughs> Bring another call. Bring an agonizing. Why are you calling him Vito the Pizza Man? Is this a is this a derogatory Italian American thing? these hands with one fucking land in them fantastic this is my favorite part of mtg arena where it's actually hot garbage but they try to like put lipstick on it so that it looks real good even though um it's nearly impossible to uh give you hands that have more than two lands in them so you know it's just the old lipstick on a pig because <laughs> just please fix it like that's all I think Luris is definitely good enough to play too as well. I think Luris is uh is definitely gonna replace one of these vetoes. Yeah, that was actually a pretty good draw. Uh nothing's derogatory about Italian Americans. Uh it's derogatory that you're assuming anyone named Vito would be a pizza man. That's where the derogatory nature of the comment comes in. good Ooh, that's your choice huh We're just gonna play all the cards in our hand because we know they have discard stuff. We got 12 power on board. The pizza men are called Ricardo. God, why do they all have the same name? Are they like henchmen? I mean, I can't imagine we lose here. I'm gonna be honest, like, I just can't think of it. My favorite pizza is mushrooms with extra veto. <laughs> Doesn't even make any sense. God. Oh, Vigo the Carpathian? Yeah, this hand is a definite, definite banger. Um, we got two jobs. Yeah, I'll keep this guy. He's good enough. <laughs> 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 
This is a good opening. I agree with you. They're going to murder us, ride this guy. <laughs> it's basically the same thing, only cheaper. Keep that guy on top because next time we can play two things. That's pretty good. All right. Okay, but they're one for wanting us, and I feel like we're just in great shape if we get to. Rider. They're just trying to figure out which one to murder Shrider. Well, they didn't murder Shrider or anything. Uh, yep, yeah, sure. Well, that's pretty cool. Um... Uh, death touch on this guy, menace on this guy, so that he can get in there for a little. I'm actually going to play this face down, because if we hit a six land, Null Priest is better. Plus, being able to go three and two next turn is also better, so. counter doing some work boy oh this for two return to the curve any number of creature cards that each have a different converted mana cost x or less all right so we need that to be three Is this worth getting one guy back? Probably, because it's... Taborax. And that's pretty good. I don't think I'm putting this face down. Like, I think it's just too good. And if we hit a land, like, being able to go 3-2-1 is really, really nice. We're blocking here because if they don't have this creature, then like they're probably less inclined to choose sacrifice a creature. Oh, well, that's quite shocking. I'm actually... <laughs> Hmm. Well, these are all very good. So what can we get? Uh, twos. There's only twos in the graveyard. That's unfortunate. They have one card in hand. Sure.
Oh, I think Null Priest is great. I liked it in our Abzan deck. I liked it in this deck. Sack a creature? Easily Null Priest. And then we just get to draw another card? Sure. Okay, our hand is actually fucking bananas right now. Still draw another card. Sounds good. Um, so we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I don't see a benefit to playing either of the lands. Like, they're both very, very good. So. So they have two cards in hand and we have five. You got it. I have the right to choose my own pace. Get out of my way already. <laughs> I mean, is he the cleric or. Just play Tabrox again. Right on. Boom, ba -doom, boom, boom. Do we have a one drop? We do, don't we? One drop and... What do we like here, Cleric? Put a death touch counter on one of them. We're ending the turn here, yeah, sure. <laughs> Triple speaker seems good. Just attack with everybody next turn. You got it. I imagine you're taking that guy. Yep, that's a good one. I mean, just a land, just an untapped land. Thank you. So we can get a 3, a 2, and a 1 here, right? Oh, we can do a 4 next turn. Oh, God, it's so greedy. We don't have a 1, actually, but we will if we attack with everything. Yeah, this seems fine. <laughs> They're at 6? Yeah, this is fine. Broxy, Cleric, Speaker. You got it. <sighs> He's getting the mana he needs. Wait, we had seven mana? Oh my god, I didn't even see it. I thought we only had six. No, we've had six for ages, haven't we? Oh wow, that's wild. Yeah, I should have just done it for seven and got another guy back. Um, yeah, no points. Why didn't we argue before? I literally just, because I didn't see seven mana. I just, it's hard to, sometimes it's really hard to parse how much mana you have. Sack a creature, huh? It's definitely Vessel. Can we get to draw a card and put a counter on this guy? Sure. Tabarax is great. Ignore that message? I will. I will. I appreciate you saying so. Okay, they're just dead.
Look at all these packs I'm getting, guys. This deck seems sweet. This deck I just built right now. My rallies is three minutes away. It's called checkers. You stupid biscuit. Oh, that was very mean. It's weird that I almost wish I had more four drop, more one drops. Lure us in, Vito, forget about it. That match actually went quite well. Um, What's in the store? Does anything affect my deck currently? I don't think so. I think they're all Jumpstar boys. Yeah. Okay. Is Rally's a gas station? I think it is. I think there is a Rally's gas station as well. Buddy, I'm from Florida, and we call it... We call it... We could, it's called Checkers in Florida, bro. Okay? I don't even know if they have Rally's out here in, in Colorado. Or Checkers. I don't know what they have. Oh, yeah, dude. Rudy's. Wait, did you buy Rudy's fries? Are you saying they have Rudy's? What's going on right now? Well, we are currently 2-0 with this deck, so that's... Or, I mean, it's obviously the best deck that's ever been created. I'll keep it. There's so many better food options in Chicago, though. So why are you why are you door dashing rallies, bro? God. I might get a chance to visit Colorado, but it won't be until after COVID. So you know, not for a while. Well, we're only gonna be here until like next June. So, you know. Whoa. Well, I don't think I don't think rallies slash checkers has oh Chicago you're right Ohio sorry bro um I'm gonna be honest with you I don't think I don't think rallies has curly fries I think they just have the long straight fry are you thinking of Arby's yeah no blocks daddy needs white source look at this he's got the unhinged lands they got the they got the Euro lands. Okay, that's not what we're looking for, but what can you do? Love it. Maybe Chuckers is different in Chicago with they had curly fries. Maybe I just haven't been in a long time. Okay, a land would have been actually really cool there. I would have liked that a lot. Specifically a white land is what I'm getting at here. Um, did I miss a land drop last turn and like not play one of these two? Because that's pretty bad. And I just think I keep forgetting that these are... <laughs> that's my own fault. I can't believe I missed one. How stupid. What an absolute dummy. I'm not going to attack because this guy's got death touch. Like, I don't think it's worth the trade. We have three cards. Okay. 
use my influence. You got it. You Come at me, bro. Weak. No blocks. That's what I'm talking about. See, that's what I'm talking about. So nice. No box. Well, this guy's not going to be able to get anything back here, so I'm actually just going to hit Lily. They're going to save it. Which is fine. Yeah, actually, that seems real good. So next turn, we're going to just keep... Luminarch Aspirant. Well, that sucks. Do they make us discard and then discard with Liliana? Discard a card. Yep. Let's just say cleric here. No blocks. I don't have any cards you do, so you can't discard. You can maybe sack the cleric, and that's totally fine. Because I still get to draw a card, and this guy gets bigger. And we draw another cleric. Okay. I don't think that's a good trade for us. Sure. Oh god, it's all happening. <laughs> it's terrible. Could attack with this, but then they just block with the 2 1. Did I actually sneeze? I didn't think I sneezed. I thought it just fucking really teased me a little bit. And that was not fun. So if they go block, lifelink, huh? Four 
five, six, seven, they can make seven here. They have a croc so they can bring them back eventually. Hmm. This is really a pickle. I mean, every draw we have is great. Agadim, Call the Death Dweller, Null Priest. Six mana is kind of like the sweet spot, I think. Yeah, we're just going to end here. It's gonna be rankled. Nothing. It's actually not terrible. I've eaten vegan the past two weeks, and I have to say, Flamia, is that true? God, it's so strong, God. I never know what you're. I never know what's real. So they can go block here, block here, they take three. Okie dokie. See, this is good because now they can't recast Croxa this turn. Really? <laughs> That's pretty good. Getting one creature back here, huh? No, it's a, it is a weird thing to troll on, but it's like something. It's a, it reminds me of the kind of thing you'd say and be like, "I've eaten vegan the past two weeks," and I'm like, "Oh, are you being real?" And you're like, "Yeah, they were delicious, haha." Because people like people, people have this weird thing where they love trolling on people who don't eat meat. Like it's just a funny like gag. Oh, not eating meat is so funny, ha ha ha. And it's just like, so that's kind of like what I expect. I'm like, oh, I see. It's a. Uh... Interesting. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Null Priest gives us two. Veto, uh... I mean, if we discard the land with Croxa, it's the same as discarding nothing. So we're like, we're taking three either way. Huh. 
Well, that's sad. Yeah. Long time viewer, first time caller, I need your expert opinion. Someone added me after a game of Overwatch to call me a fucking pathetic loser. They have their website linked in their Liz profile. The domain has expired. Do I buy their domain to post? Yes. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Um. Yeah, we die here because of Croxa, unfortunately. Okay, so... Let's take out. Is Elspeth's Sons and Nemesis good here? I don't think so. Maybe, actually, they're filling my graveyard. I'm not liking Vito at all. It's really weird. I'm bringing Agonizing Remorse in. Um. Snap keep. Ideally, we get two drop next turn, I guess. That counts for me. Um, I'm gonna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna bottom it. We already have a four drop and. Nothing to really play next turn. Oh, that's pretty decent. So if we play this, this guy becomes a three, we go to 26. They probably block here though, unfortunately. I guess also we wouldn't have a... Are there any cities or states you prefer? Not really. We also don't really get a choice. Like, it's the, the choice is like literally like wherever her residency is. That seems good, right? Okay, we just win the game there. I mean, they can't deal damage probably next turn, so like we're just gonna make another angel, and that's pretty okay. Oh, we we just they just conceded the whole match, even though they were up. Huh.
I think Vito is not great. I'm just like taking him out. Get the fuck out of here, Vito. Are there any clerics I don't have? Ooh, I wonder. Doubt it. Wait, hold on. Oh, Container Priest doesn't stop Croxa, which is kind of interesting. Because it feels like a card that was made to stop Croxa. You know, like, let's print this because of the Titans. But then it doesn't do anything, you know? So it's like, oh, just kidding. <laughs> You're a cleric. You ain't even good. You suck. Do we want do we want one angel of destiny? No, because like we haven't had 35 life once. See, this is how it's interesting to like test cards and see if they'd work. You don't actually have to play Angel of Destiny. You just have to realize that like you've never had 35 life once. And we also don't want to win with like giving them a million life. Some more removal might help, actually. I agree with you. Where's the Shriek Maws in this set? I think Blood Chief's Thirst is pretty okay, actually. I think I'd rather have two of those guys. How many creatures do we have? It was like 27. That's a good amount. Yeah, I like that. Deadweight's cute. Um, I think the versatility of like... C dies that lol. What does that even mean? What are you even saying right now? Oh, so does that. Yeah, the thing I like about Blood Chief's Thirst is that it can hit the, um, like, Planeswalkers and creatures that cost a lot. I have a lot of work to do in the morning. Fun hanging out. Have a good night. Jimmy, have a good night, buddy. Let me know about that deck if you've thought any more about it. I'm going to mulligan. I can't keep one lander. This is better. Yeah, with only two Lurrus, I'm not super concerned with the Lurrus deadweight interaction. Keep six. I'm going to drop one of these because I'd rather have a backup Tabarax. Tabarax has been definitely pulling his weight where has, where has, whereas Vito has not, unfortunately. I need the money to do it. <laughs> Jimmy, I know where you work, buddy. I refuse to believe that you're not making bank. <laughs> oh, it's Codus Lobra. Definitely killing that guy. Wow, triple triple Tabarax, that's pretty funny. Oh, what a badger fact of the day. In 1859, a British farmer called Thomas Austin brought 24 rabbits with him to his new home in Australia. Within six years, the country's rabbit population had swelled to 22 million. Dear God. That's insane. That kind of exponential growth is really hard to wrap your head around. I'm just like, what?
These sleeves are triggering me. This ultimatum is a good fucking card. Second fact today, in Elizabeth, Elizabethan England, the word nothing was slang for female genitalia. The title of the Shakespearean play, Much Ado About Nothing, is a. Oh my god, that's amazing! actually had no idea I'm gonna actually concede here because I don't think Ugana 9 is really a thing we can deal with here that's incredible um I'm gonna take heartless act out bring in agonizing remorse bring out one call bring out one hagra bring in Elspeth and a I I I, th I also think Ugin was a mistake to reprint. <laughs> this and this. Earlier this month, Oreo built a doomsday vault on a Norwegian island that would preserve a large stockpile of the cookies in case of apocalypse. <laughs> no fucking way. No way, dude. Oreo. I mean, in truth, there's no way I doubted you because literally all your facts are awesome, but. Oh my god, it's right near the Global Seed Vault. <laughs> ah! Oh man. Guys. We're definitely keeping this hand. We got a one drop, a three drop. Double stuff and vaults. Wow. Oh, I like that. Ugin and cultivate. I mean, cultivate. <laughs> I'd rather be in the Oreo vault than the seed vault. No, nah, no attacks. <laughs> Don't hit a third land. I hope you whiff. Dang, you did whiff. Oh, I, you, you, you drew land cultivate. Seems good. Our board is pretty terrible right now. No attacks. On this day in 1868, John Willis Menard from Louisiana is elected the first black U.S. congressman. Opposition to his election means he never sits in... That's fucking amazing. This country's great, but it also has a lot of fucking shit stains in it.
On this day, 1930, Bank of Italy is renamed Bank of America. Yep, there's the Ugin. Yep, just gonna scoop. I think we have a really bad matchup against this deck. I mean, I would consider replacing, like, Hagra's Mauling with um, Murderous Rider, but the problem is that, like, we're playing them as lands as well, so then it kind of skews the mana base. Uh, there actually is the Fleshbag Marauder that's a Cleric, but I don't think that would have, like, done much there. I mean, things like Heartless Act, Call of the Death Dweller, all these would... Not Call of the Death Dweller, but, um... I don't know what I was going to say there. It doesn't matter. It's not super relevant. Um, so this is 5, 10, 18, 19, 20, 22. This is 25 mana sources, including the f 6 modal, face, modal dual face lands. Um, it's tempting to take one call out for one murderous rider. Uh, we haven't seen Lurus, but we've only had him in like two matches so far. Yeah, because actually now that we have Lurus and Call, I don't think we need as many calls. On this day in 1900, Adolf Dazzler, German entrepreneur, founder of sportswear company Adidas, was born in Herzogenarok, Germany. Died in 1978. Bank of Italy became Bank of America? On November 1st, 1930. Yeah, Bank of Italy in San Francisco changed into Bank of America. The bank today is the same national bank charter number as Gianni's old bank. That's so weird. Okay, so now we have two murder riders, which take care of more problematic creatures and things. Guys, let's play one more round with this and then uh, switch to something else. If you guys watching, if you guys want to try decks at home, you can definitely check out manatraders.com. You can get 15% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. It is a great way to not only support the channel, but it is also a great way to uh, borrow Magic Online cards. It's not for Arena, it is for Magic Online, but, you know, standard is standard. Modern is modern, so. And yeah, I'll keep this. I will keep that as well, yes. Being able to go 2-drop, 3-drop, or 2-drop, 1-drop, 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 1-drop. On this day in 2018, Frank and I were at BlizzCon, and I don't know, probably eating the Cheesecake Factory or something. Dang, I do love the Cheesecake Factory. I do love BlizzCon. I do love Nifty Chris. Man. They killed my guy. It's rude, but, you know, it's life, I guess. Now you're just being rude. I was hoping for a land so we could play Luris and get a guy back this turn, but I guess that wouldn't have done it, huh?
I still don't get your love for Cheesecake Factory or the like. What is the like? What are you trying to say right now, Thomas? Don't be hating on Cheesecake Factory. Oh, get wrecked. Joke's on you. <laughs> I always assume they made the like. Macaroni Grill is the like. I don't... No, I don't think... So you're just talking about chain restaurants. I like chain restaurants because I'm a picky eater. And I like knowing what I'm getting. And every time I go to a Chili's. Every time I go to a Cheesecake Factory. Every time I go to a Maggiano's. For family style. Which is also a, group, a gathering I like to get together with friends and do. Um, I know exactly what I'm getting. And that's, that's important to me. So... Like I can try mom and pop restaurants, every uh, you know any any anywhere under the sun, right? And sometimes they suck. So you know I don't like my meals. Like hey, I'm gonna go have dinner tonight. I don't want I don't want my meal to always be a gamble. So I'm like, oh, when I go to Cheesecake Factory, I know exactly what I'm getting. So cool. I like this entree at this restaurant, so I'll get this. We're just like Where are my lands at? Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm just playing the land. You probably aren't interested in the tapas for dinner in Vegas, but would likely crush the French steakhouse. Uh, I also don't eat a ton of meat. In every steakhouse I go to, like if it's, uh, you know, like Fogo de Chao or um, Texas Day Brazil, I will always get the salad bar because their salad bars are usually pretty banging. And that's fine with me. I don't... <laughs> thin cuts are still meat though, right? <laughs> Man, our graveyard's looking dank. So this guy trades with anyone on the board right now. And then we get to play another one. Oh, dang it. Um, First one's going to get Clary, right? What's our life? 31? Yeah, this one's probably more important. And we stacked them wrong because we're freaking stupid. Alright, they got six mana here. It doesn't count if you just eat the skin. What are you guys fucking saying right now? This conversation got way out of my league. Alright, we're at 28, which means we do get to make a dude next turn. Oh, unless they... Unless they croc us. Whoa, they're double croxing. Wow, they took us down. One, two, three, four, five. That is un 
unfortunate as they say you got lifelink too good for you my dude This is just a trade here. Thank you. Um, I'm just gonna play this. Enter tap. Drow, thank you for the sub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, my dude. So we know you got Ox of Agonis. Can't can't do that guy. And you got two lands. I have two refill of bottles that hold three liters each. <laughs> Buddy, that's a good amount. Three? Oh wow, they just made us discard? Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, so we have one, two, one, two, three. I'll just make another white. I could have sworn we had 27. Did we lose? Oh, because of the Liliana. I was like, oh, that's cool. My wine rack overfloweth. Now we just need a Baron. Yep, you got it. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you have six cards, so you can back, get back Kroxa, so... Well, our best bet is to just hope we draw like an Agademes or, uh, you know. Whenever we're in the same fucking rank, but we're trying to, like, end the video, like, we always start losing. Yeah, that's cool. Exactly. Seems good. Yep, I will go to seven. The Death Toucher stuck around. It wasn't a tree. What are you talking about? Oh, did I label them? Oh, wow, that's weird. Okay, I see. Oh, wow, cool. Yep, all right, let's just go to the next game because that's cool. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. So so the thing about that is I thought they actually stacked them. I thought they would have had 4-3 and 2-3 because then both of their guys survive. But instead they stacked it really weird and put like the fucking 2-1 in front and I don't really understand, so. Yeah, I actually didn't even notice that because it was so unintuitive for me. I would have just been like, oh, put the two creatures that can't die in front of it. Instead, you put the a creature that I can trade with. So I just didn't even think about it. That's weird. This hand is terrible. And this hand is, of course, worse, but we'll keep it because we have two lands. 
And maybe that's enough. <laughs> you got the plus two, plus two, indestructible. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll keep that. Being able to play this guy next turn is pretty nice. That's annoying. Oh, they get nothing unless they exile their own Croxa? Yeah, that's cool. Do that. So we draw a card and we get to get our guy back? Yep. And that seems like a pretty good deal. I mean, they can crox it here, but we can just kill it. Have you seen the subsequent movie film? Yes, it was fantastic. Very nice. Discard a card. Huh. I think it's Tobrax number two. Come at me, bro. Yeah, let's do that. You got it. Yeah. Draw another card. Sounds good. Love it. Oh, that's pretty good. This guy needs three or four? Four? Actually care about your stupid Tim Tim Timerit. Um, this actually might be good enough. I'll keep it. So they have three. We can actually just put this on here and attack with both.
Okay. So this is what? 4, 8, 10? So they have to block. I guess they have... Oh, they can't actually Heartless Act either of these. That's actually pretty funny. Well, they can do that, I guess, and we can draw another card. Okay, so five million. I will do my best to support you. Okay, good three. Seems good. Play Archie. Oh, we get to draw on their card. Oh, it wasn't a cleric, but we still get to... Oh, we still get the counter. That's pretty sweet. That's the first time that's happened, I think. Well, it's only a matter of time. Yeah, Tabrax has been doing friggin' work, man. Wow, look at this. Look at this amazing series of plays here. This guy's still only a 1-3. 9 cards. I guess they could bring this guy back. Yeah. That's pretty good. So now who's in top deck mode? They're at 1? It's gotta be away, right? <laughs> oh, that's gas. Oh yeah, this card might be a more of in this deck. I don't know, it's very possible we might not have wanted to attack with the rider. Um, one drop, three drop, two drop. You are going to fight, fight beside me. That was a pretty good card. This card seems great. Like it being just a land that can also come and play tapped is or untapped is pretty good. Got him. That's what my drug dealer says. What does he say, Kurt? Or, uh, Badger? <laughs> so I feel like Elspeth Conqueror's death. Oh, what Superfit said? One drop, two drop, red drop, blue drop. God, your, your drug dealer is real talkative. I like Elspeth Conquer's Death. It hits Bone Crusher, Murderous Giant. It doesn't hit Croxa. But it does hit those other dudes. So 5, 10, 11, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I don't know if I want to go to 23 lands for a 5 drop. I keep it like this. This hand looks good. Do, 
Okay, I'm gonna keep that. We're gonna turn two cleric, turn three cleric, turn four. before we can go both of these. Yep, seems good. Oh, let's do that instead. So they have five cards. They have four cards, we have four cards. That seems okay with me. Hmm. Well. I actually think Lurus is probably the best here because then we can play two two drops next turn. That's fine. It's what is whatever. Like, I think yeah, of course we can assume we draw we they destroy our Lyris. Like that doesn't change the fact that we have two plays next turn. Like that's totally fine. Is a creature flying and destroy an artifact? Yeah, I don't care about that at all. Man. So they have Shredded Sails, one random card, and a Bone Crusher Giant. That's fine. We're just going to kill this. <laughs> and also not play that, unfortunately. I'm just going to put the counter on this for now because it makes them both uh, Heartless Act proof. I mean, I'll easily take four here if they want to attack. I assume they're going to kill something. Oh, they're just going to cycle. And I guess they wanted to maximize their chance of hitting... Uh... Cool.
I heard there was a time where Red Eggs didn't have Bone Crusher Giant. Not sure I believe it. Well, sure. Well, fascinating. So we're not going to be blocking. So. Man, I feel like we were doing really good with our with our draws here, but we have not drawn many of our 2 for 1 cards. So. Meanwhile, all of their cards have been 2 for 1s. Bone Crusher, Bone Crusher, Murderous. Murderous. Yeah, okay. This has been Plus, we only have two black right now, so not really in a position to anything we care about. I should have looked. This was just a misplay. I didn't realize they had no cards because I saw these two, and then just like, oh, okay, cool. That's just how Arena does it. It puts the cards. When you have no cards in your hand, these two just go to the center, so it looks like they're in your fucking hand. That's really kind of stupid, and I, what's one of the things I've complained about before because it's really confusing. Okay, cool. That's... They should definitely be off-center. I hate that they move to literally where your hand is. And you're supposed to be like, oh, I have to see this, like, glowing aura around them. That's the only way I know that they're in your hand. Or they're not in your hand, rather. Okay. Got it. That's not subtle at all when you're in the middle of, like, a complex, complicated magic game. Yeah, so final changes, I think we're going to add another Agadim's Awakening, for sure. That card has been great. And it's basically free. Um, I think we can cut a Hagra Mauling, because we're adding a land there. I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm tempted to go up to four of these. Cut one planes. And then we still get one free spot. In life. Oh, what up, Demented Wombat? Um, is four too many? There's no way four is too many, right? You just play them as lands, and like getting back three dudes is pretty nuts. Timurite, like just one Timurite is good. I also wonder if we can cut the Call of the Dark to Death Weller at that point. I mean, this is going to be a six mana spell, this is a three mana spell, so I think having one of them is okay. Hmm. Doom foretold. Let's just make it a Doom foretold deck. I mean, the engine here is like Luris, Agadim's Awakening, Tabarax. Maybe it's a third Ora. Like, that card's pretty decent. Turn one? Sure, do it. Yeah, I think this is the deck. I think this is where I, I like being. 
Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys give it a shot and uh, see what you think. Check out manatraders.com. Great way to save 15%. Uh, on the first three months with the link and promo code down below and uh, be sure to like and subscribe follow on Twitch give me all them uh, all them feedbacks and I'll see you guys next time thanks so much for watching guys really appreciate it